Now first thing we are going to need a character. So for this I already downloaded a zombie character from the maximum. I give the link in the description. So I am going to drag and drop this character or something here. Now then I want to create a ragdoll. So I am going to click right click here and go to the 3D objects and choose ragdoll. Now let's open a new window here. Now here we need to drag and drop the corresponding bones. Okay. So I'm going to hip into the pivotic spawn. Mark and I'm going to give the total mark of 70 and just I'm going to create it. Now if I play this game as look it's going to become a record. Now next thing I'm going to add the animated components. We can run animation. So for this I'm going to right click in the project window and create an animated component. Drag and drop this animator into the control slot. Okay I, if I'm going to double click on the it's going to open a new window here. Then right click here, create it, set and empty set. Okay. So I want to name it the ideal. Ideal. Okay. Then choose the motion slot. The ideal from the maximum. So everything link in the description. Or you can download, you can choose the standard search and animation. But I already have, so I will choose zombie ideal. Okay. Then if I play this game. So it's going to play the animation but does not become a ragdoll. Okay, so if I going to disable this rag anim animator component, it's going to become the ragdoll. Okay. Next thing I'm going to add the rigid body to this and increase the mass by 10 and just going to add the capsule glider. Then I'm going to go and edit it. Then I'm going to add the component. I'm going to create a new script and name that dolls. Okay, then I open up my Visual Studio. So I already then first thing you need to create a we need to create the reference for a collider, main collider, which is the capsule collider. Okay, just drag and drop. Then you can go to create the array of the colliders, which which are in the child objects. Okay, just drag and drop, like hips. of the rigid bodies which are in the child objects also then also the size is equal to the cap 11 okay okay if you add drag and drop everything there is slot so then open the script again and create the okay, open the drag dolls open the drag doll script and create the awake method then in awake method create a method is drag doll and just give false to it then create this method down here and make sure you added the public here and then give the point parameter is drag doll okay now if is drag doll is drag doll false it's mean of a player is or a zombie character is moving or some playing some kind of animation or just idle okay so we're going to at that time we're going to animator is enabled so and also main glider is also going to be enabled and true and then we're going to start the loop and then 
under is now in here we are going to create a phrase ignore collision so it's going to ignore the collision between two colliders okay. collide is all the colliders in the array or then main colliders okay so it prevents some weird thing happening with colliders if you don't add this line is or oh, you get to going to fly in the air every going to fly in air every time then create the else condition if our play drag doll become true so it's going to opposite of this thing then it is going to force the main collider for the animator component and then okay so we start the loop for preventing some weird thing happening know the collision and then start the coroutine for disturbing colliders okay so it's i am reader function which mean it's going to actually simply is going to wait for some second to execute the code okay so it's going to wait for 3.5 second to disable the all the colliders we're going to start the loop for then going to disable them all the colliders and this use gravity to become make false okay. then we need to need something that going to call this matter to so the player become ragdoll so actually when we should should this character is going to become the ragdoll so for this i'm going to attach the suit script to the our main camera it have get the first camera reference for it and then invite update get the, take some inputs of the player or user that i'm going to take the fire one get button down fire one is the press left mouse button is going to call the matter suit now in suit function we're going to get a recast it and check if recast hit something hit something if if he hit we're going to throw the debug dot lock you can we hit and just name of this component of the object we hit then we're going to find the ragdoll script of if we find it the ragdoll script we're going to just throw the one more debug dot log hit and then we're going to make is ragdoll to true and then we are find the rigid body component and if we find it so it's going to add some kind of force in backward direction so just check Let's test in Unity, and if we shoot this car, it's going to become the ragdoll. So everything works perfectly. Make sure you added everything in correct position. So this. So thanks for watching. If you like, please hit the like, and you can also subscribe my channel if you really like my content. Now.